Picture this. It's 5 p.m. and you're looking for that one phone number from your prospect. And you're looking everywhere. Your notebook, your notepad, your phone, everywhere and you cannot find it. At the same time, you are receiving so many other messages from your customers from LinkedIn, WhatsApp, and you most probably will remember some of them, but not everybody. Don't worry, we all have been there and you are not alone. I'm Giuseppe Manzone. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how a CRM can turn that chaos in efficiency and why this is important for a small business. You need to think of a CRM as the long-term memory of your business. Every email, every WhatsApp message, every information and every note, it's stored in a trusted place. Instead of 50 spreadsheets fighting for your attention, you get one single lifetime story of your customer. And when you get a call from Marco, when Marco calls, you don't see Marco a deal worth $5,000. You see the demo he has watched, the comment he left you last time, and most probably the proposal you owe him today. That context is power. Yes, yes, of course. The sales tech giant like Salesforce, HubSpot, Pipedrive, so they can all do this. But this only matters to you if their features fits your reality. Therefore, I will try to explain why a CRM is important for a small business like yours. In a small team, every relationship is personal and very fragile. And a good CRM can help you do three big things. First, helps you remember things. Ever happened to you to forgot to follow up and suddenly a hot lead become cold? That should not happen with a good CRM, which will tell you every time you need to follow up. Second, it will help you work faster. Specifically with automation, every action of yours, it will have consequential automated actions will enable you to do so many things in very little time. And finally, sales smarter. How? With data. Data is the fuel to enable you to understand who buy fast, who needs nurturing, and what are the real pain points that you are solving for each client for you to be able to really solve them. Okay, now that we have understood why a CRM is important and what are the three big things that a CRM can do for us, let's do the following. Let's understand what are the use cases for which a CRM is important. And to do that, let's do it with an example. Let's take Maya and let's take that Maya is interested in yoga. Maya sees an advertisement on Instagram and she fills a form. That's for the leads it's captured. A couple of hours later, she receives an email with the different schedules and of yoga class in a specific studio. And Maya click on a class on prenatal yoga, for example, right? Right after that, a sales representative calls her to give her an offer for 30% discount. She buys it, therefore the deal is won. A couple of weeks later, she sends a couple of questions on WhatsApp. Therefore, the CRM takes the information, creates a ticket, assigns it, and then after the assignment, it's closed, and asks also for customer feedback. At the end of the whole process, and one month later, the owner of the studio starts understanding that prenatal yoga classes get 30% uplift in the last couple of months. Therefore, start doubling down in their segment. And that whatever this very simple journey is contact, pipeline, and lead management, support, and insight all in one execution, not five different silos. It seems crazy, but in 2025, there are still a lot of companies without a CRM. And no matter how many CRMs comes out every year and what are the amazing technologies that comes out every year, there's still a lot of people relying on spreadsheet or very basic solutions. Why? because the CRM still keep failing them. And there are four main reasons why this happens. One of the main reasons is to not have a specific goal. We need a CRM is not a goal. Maybe a goal could be, I need to cut by half all my missed follow-up. That's a reason to get a CRM. Another major reason of CRM failure is the team pushback. I cannot even start telling how many business owners told me that their team pushback on CRM utilization. They don't see the value. It takes too much time to update. But if you show them what is the save time of using a CRM versus what they do today, I can tell you that there is a very good chance that they will start using it. Another major reason and that also a consequence of the second one is the dirty data. Of course, the team pushes back and therefore they put garbage data in and you will get garbage data out. 
we should always consider to have at least once a month one sprint for clean up all the data and make sure that your data is valuable. And last thing, feature blocks. You don't need all the amazing features, the enterprise level plan of the CRMs. You just need to understand, okay, what is your goal? What are the features that will enable you to get to that goal? And that's it. The rest is fluff. The rest is nice to have. You just need to focus on the must have and that's gonna work for you. And now we get to the part where I talk about what anticipated a couple of minutes ago, my baby, Daddy AI. I know, I know. You will tell me, okay, Giuseppe, you're coming up with another CRM as the other many do every year. I agree with you. But it's also true that I'm trying to focus on two main pain points. The first one is admin work. I cannot even count the number of people and teams who told me we don't like admin work, which is the reason that we don't update the CRM. The second point is about the data insight, the data intelligence. What means a CRM if you cannot use their data? And the reason why most teams do not use their data is because it requires time to do research. It requires time to get insight out of all that data from your customers. But what if I will tell you that from today, Dalil will offer an AI sales assistant that will solve both pain points. It will solve the first pain point by enabling you to update your CRM with simple WhatsApp messages and WhatsApp note. Can you imagine that? You just send a message like, please add Giuseppe as a new lead, uh, add this task, send him this reminder and so on and so forth. And that's it. Everything will be ready in your CRM in a matter of seconds. That's amazing, no? And what about the second problem? The data intelligence. Can you imagine adding someone super smart who read your email, WhatsApp, LinkedIn messages, notes, and record information and provide you with the real-time insight and tips all the time, 24-7? This is what Dalil will do for you the moment we are out officially with our product. The intent of this video was not only to promote Dalil AI, as you can imagine. I really care about the usage of the CRM and what a CRM can do for small and medium enterprises. So if you're still juggling across different spreadsheets or you think like that you are getting too many data that you cannot manage, really think about what will be your goal to getting a CRM. Go out there, there are a lot of solutions. And if you want some suggestions, you can also leave me a comment and I will be happy to reply and providing the best suggestions for what you need. Thank you very much for watching and follow for next videos about CRM, sales and tech stack. Thank you so much. Bye.